The real reason for all of this hostility is because some perceive that what is happening in Grenada can lay a new socio-economic and political path of development. They give all kinds of reasons and excuses, some of them credible, some utter rubbish. There's an interesting one that we saw very recently in a secret report of the State Department. I want to tell you about that one, so you can reflect on that one. That secret report made this point, that Grenada is different to Cuba and Nicaragua, and the Grenada Revolution is in one sense even worse I'm using their language, than the Cuban and Nicaraguan revolutions because the people of Grenada and the leadership of Grenada speaks English and therefore can communicate directly to the people of the United States. I can see from your applause, sisters and brothers, that you agree with the report. <laughs> but I want to tell you what that same report also said, and said that also made us very dangerous. And that is that the people of Grenada and the leadership of Grenada are predominantly black. They said that 95% of our population is black, and they had a correct statistic. And if we have 95% of predominantly African origin of our country, then we can have a dangerous appeal to 30 million black people in the United States. Now, that aspect of the report clearly is one of the more sensible ones. 